It's me. Otacon. Wow. They even captured you. Hurry, right, we'll get me out of here. Uh, let me go. That hurts. Uh, hurry up. Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. An animal's cage. What a smell. Yeah, because of him. Hey, it's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Merrill. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. So, you're here to get me out? out of war. Snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake. About Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. 
No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master? Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece, and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Um, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake.
shoot! It's me, don't shoot! It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry, forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean... I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? Do you think love can bloom... even on a battlefield? do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I won't hurt anyone. I don't want you to. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you.
huge snake. The elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me, in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her! It's definitely her! Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf! No, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. You think so? Well, a message from me is a message from death. If I'm close, you will know death is close. Please, Wolf! Snake! No! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start.
I... I've waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <coughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please, just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A Kurd? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside, as an observer. I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglanek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale for some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf, you spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She is part of me. Ah!
Everyone is here now. Okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <laughs> yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too.